Today in our 2016 Ford F-150, we're test fitting the Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier. Now this carry, cargo carrier is going to be 23 by 60. It'll carry up to 500 pounds and it's designed for use with two inch hitches. The part number on it is CC-100. I like the floor in this particular carrier. It's the expanded steel so you got lots of good areas for support, but the Openings are nice and large, so even rocks and chunks of mud and stuff like that will have the opportunity to fall down and out. Got a raised rail around the outside that's about two and three quarters of an inch tall. It's going to give us a lot of good connection points. So once we've got our gear all loaded up, we'll be able to get it all strapped down nicely. Now, there are carriers out there that have larger raised edges on them, but one of the things I think is really good about having a shorter raised edge is that you're only going to have about six and a quarter inches worth of width that you were going to have up against the wall or taking up room in the garage or whatever the case may be. So this is really handy and compact. It can store away easily but be there when we need it. Now as far as ground clearance goes, we're going to have about 17 inches to the bottom of the bolt there at the back. Overall the carrier adds about 27 and 3 quarters of an inch to the back of the pickup. And at its closest point here, it's going to be about 3 and 3 quarters of an inch away. Doesn't look like we're going to have any issues opening our gate here. We have more than enough room. At its lowest point, our gate's going to be about 8 and 3 quarters of an inch above our platform. That's one of the taller measurements I've seen doing the test fits. It overhangs by, it's going to be about 13 and 3 quarter, which is one of the longer ones that I've seen there. But if you want the maximum room here, this might be a good option for you. If you plan on stacking items up higher than that 8 and a quarter inches, you really want to use caution when opening your gate. You'll run into a little bit of interference in doing that. Now we've got a passenger outlet exhaust here. It's going to come straight out of the side, so we're not going to have any issues transporting heat sensitive materials or whatever we might want on our carrier. Now you'll see a little movement in, the pl in play in cargo carriers. We've got this one secured with just a pin and a clip using part number PC3. If you'd like to stabilize that, you can pick up one of the anti-rattle devices we have available on our website and it should help out quite a bit. Now that we've had a good look at the Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier and we've seen how it's going to fit our 2016 Ford F-150, let's take a look and see how that cargo carrier performed when they had it out on our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 